What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Lace Up channel. I'm Mickey. Today I want to talk to you about printers. So a lot of our customers lately have been purchasing hardware from us and they always ask the same advice, what printer should I get? Today I'm going to walk you through kind of the history of where printers have come from, where they're at now, and where they're going into the future. Uh, so back in the day, I would say from early 2000s into the mid 2000s, a lot of the printers that used to get were the Datamax O'Neill. Okay. Here's what a Datamax O'Neill looks like. All right, these are plastic, real heavy duty printers. A lot of our customers still have these, but you can see there's no screen, no way to configure them, no way to change any settings. Literally, you plug in with uh, an old school data cable. Here, let me open this thing up so you guys can see it. Look at this, you gotta communicate with this thing by plugging into here. It's like from 1950, look at that. Okay, so this was kind of like the first generation DSD printer. Um, obviously the first generation ones were a little more bulky like this, but then they consolidated into here. Okay, and this is what distributor used for about the entire early and mid 2000s. Now at some point, mid 2000s, these printer manufacturers got a little more intelligent. They gave us something like this. Here's a Printec Field Pro with a bunch of buttons here in the front. So you can actually configure some stuff, look at the battery life, like things that are actually useful. Um, this was like kind of the next generation. These were used in the early 2010s and they're still used today. They're good printers, they're metal. So this is plastic right here on the floor. You could drop it and nothing happens. Look at this thing, it's bulletproof. This thing I'm afraid to drop though. I mean, it seems if I dropped it, I might break it. Yeah, if you look right here, look, I just dropped it and it fell apart. Um, but this is kind of like the second generation. Again, they don't really break. Uh, none of these really break, but here's the first generation. No buttons, no configuration options. Second printer option, we got some buttons. We got a little more, you know, robust materials, but again, you just saw I dropped it and it fell apart. Um, now let's kind of go to the next generation printer. We got the Zebra RW420. This is my favorite printer. Uh, early 2000s all the way to 2010, 2011, 2012. I think they're even selling these in 2013, 14, 15 when I first started with Lace Up. But these are great here. I'll drop this thing on the floor. We'll pick it up. Look at this thing. Bulletproof. It's a beast. This is my favorite printer. But look, check out the screen. You can configure the printer. You can change settings. It's really fast. Like if you were to compare printer speed between this thing and this thing, I would say this thing's five times faster. Um, as a matter of fact, if you're starting to get your DSD software now, I would look for refurbed units of these with a warranty and buy these uh, to save you some money. These are going to be around 450 bucks. Um, these things and these things, you know, we don't support anymore. They're really good. I mean, we support them with texts, but we don't print any fancy fonts with them or images like your logo. Um, so if you were going to get a printer, I'd go in the middle and get this thing, find it refurbed online. Um, if you really want to get fancy, you can get the updated version. Here's a ZQ520. This is the new version of this. So you can kind of see much sleeker, much better looking. Look at the, the metal. We got a metal casing, right? It's, it's really heavy duty. It's got rubber all the way around. Okay. This is a really good printer. Not only that, but it's the very, what's well, it's the fastest printer you can buy i would say this thing prints an invoice in a third of the time that this one does so these are great these are about 800 bucks 850 depending on who you get them from and what warranty you get but again if you want to hit the, the, the sweet spot get this this will print all your signatures print your logos it'll look i mean it'll the printout will look very good it'll be very fast very efficient if i were you i'd get this thing if you want no fonts uh, no signatures, no logos, you can get this. Again, some software support it, uh, but we don't. We just support with straight text printing on these and same with these. But if you want the mega fast Ferrari, this is what you want, guys. Uh, regardless, I hope that helped you understand the differences between some of these printers. Uh, we also support three inch Zebra printers. Should you need a three inch printer, uh, we support some Chinese models that are very cost effective as well. Uh, that, you know, maybe 200 bucks that aren't as reliable, but they're very cost effective. Uh, either way, uh, whether you're in the market for a DSD software or not, we have a solution for you on the printer side. If y'all have any questions, please hit us down in the comments below. I'll get back to you personally, answer your questions, give you the best recommendations for printers that I know. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care.